Hey, how's it going? Welcome, 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 welcome. Man, that soundtrack. <laughs> so good. It's gonna be a while before we hear the remake of Sid's theme, though. Unfortunately. Uh, man, imagine what, what, what they'd be able to do with that whole sequence. Fucking fly into space. All that stuff with the huge materia. Getting Bahamut Zero. Oh boy. Uh, Raziel, thank you for the 30 months. Pug, thank you for the 27. Connor, thank you for the 17. Thanks a lot, guys. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, I was looking into these mods. Um, I was having a few issues with, like, models, like the character models and the enemy models. So I think they're, the models we have are just going to be basic. They're just going to be, like, the standard FF7 models. Um... The backgrounds should look a lot sharper, though. Um, the FMV mod just refused to download as well. Um, but the new threat mod is ready to go, and the new threat mod is, you know, really what we want. Um, so, yeah, let's see what this is all about. Did I get the Satsuki field textures? Yeah, I think they, uh, they're, they're there, Nico. Um... I'm, are, are those just for the world map? I think we should have those when we get to the world map. Um, anyway, I can always fuck around with this shit between streams. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I guess, we'd like, yeah, sure, we'll we'll go for a full playthrough, um, I guess. Uh, I didn't even really think about what, <laughs> what this fucking playthrough is really going to entail. But, uh, yeah, seeing as though it's new threat, we may as well just go through the whole fucking game because it's going to be very different with all the different battles and everything and the difficulty and all that. Um, and then maybe when the remake is about to release, we'll just play through the, the regular game and just go through Midgar. I think that'd be cool. Uh, like, the, the game's probably going to release at midnight, my time. Um, and I will likely be up. Well, I guess I could time it. So we could go, we could go really crazy and I could try and set up my sleep schedule so I'm waking up at around midnight and then we could just go for like you know, do a huge FF7 remake session. <clears throat> I, I did enjoy the demo sale, um, especially after messing around with it for a bit longer as well, like really trying to dig into the battle system. After, after understanding the battle system a bit better as well, I'm even more uh, optimistic. I feel like they're... I, 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 my, my gut feeling is better now. I feel like they're probably going to pull it off. But uh, I'll still keep the expectations grounded, you know. But uh, yeah, I think it looks promising. As long as you're like, you have to be open to it being very different because it is different. You know, it's a whole different battle system. It's a whole reimagining of the story. They'll be changing parts, adding lots of different scenarios. So, uh, you know, there are people who just aren't going to be open to that at all. It'll just be too different. But yeah, if you're open to the to the action RPG combat, um, I think I think it's going to have some depth. Hopefully, the uh, the demo definitely. I'm 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 quite optimistic after the demo. <clears throat> Billy, how's it going? What's up, guys? Uh, I wouldn't really compare it to Dynasty Warriors combat, but. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's good. I like the ATB system. Um, there are so just some cool little details, like at the if you at the end of Cloud's Punisher combo, you get that Berserk buff. You know, if you hold down Attack in Punisher, the last hit of that combo will give you Berserk. Little details like that are very cool. And uh, I guess in Berserk, you take more damage, but you can also deal more damage. So like it's it would be wise to to get that berserk when you have an enemy staggered and then you uh, then pull out all your really uh, damaging attacks like a, a berserk uh, braver or a berserk limit break I think can really fuck enemies up. So there are there are lots of interesting choices to make in combat. You know, figuring out how you want to. Uh, 
uh, use your ATBs, when to when to use the attacks that build up your ATBs quickly, um, what's best to build up pressure and stagger, then what to use when an enemy staggered, and how to optimally sw switch between characters. And yeah, I think it's uh, I think it could be really good. <clears throat> How did you do it, dog? Get berserk? How how did you how did you get berserk? I'm not sure what you mean. I just explained it. At the end of a Punisher combo. You know how a cloud has operator and punisher mode? In Punisher mode, uh, if you do a, a combo where you hold down the attack button, you know how you can either hold square or slash by tapping square. If you do his combo where you hold square, the last hit of that combo will give you berserk. And then you have that berserk status for, I don't know, like 20 seconds or something. I'm not really sure what the deal is. At least I, I think that's how it works. <clears throat> you were talking to a co-worker? What? You weren't talking to me there when you said, how did you do it, dog? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're being, you're confusing me greatly, low life, with your comments here. I know, but your comments said, how did you get it, dog? And then you said, berserk. Okay, I'm just, I'm a little bit confused by what you're... Be clear, be clear with your comments. Uh, all right. Let's get this going. Hold on. Uh, the FF7 mod installer is taking longer than usual to launch here, which kind of has me worried. Hey, there we go. Uh, I'm a bit confused here. Hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> this doesn't look good. This is the first time this has happened. It's never had a problem launching. And I haven't changed any settings since I opened it last. Hold on, let's just launch it again. <sighs> this is weird. It's taken really long as well when I launched the game. Wonder if OBS is somehow interfering with it. Uh, is the game up on screen, guys? Can you see it? We're good. Uh, oh, now my controller is acting up. Right now, we have to launch it again. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I think we're going to get there, though. I think we're good. All right, let's do it. 
so here we have new threat version 1.5 select difficulty we're just gonna go with we've normal or a range i guess i should go with normal i, I did play a little bit of this and uh yeah normal i guess Uh, it's recommended to play FF7 NT using weight ATB. I noticed as well, Aerith does seem to be looking at, like, a busted pipe in this intro. I never really realized before what she was looking at here till the remake. But yeah, look, there's the pipe. You can see the Mako bursting out of it. I always wondered exactly what she was looking at there, but yeah. The remake makes it a lot clearer. Thought it was a fireplace. Oh hey, these guys look a little bit different than before. Maybe my maybe my models are a bit different. Oh hey, what's going on here? Oh yeah, look at those models. Okay, so they're a wee bit different. Cloud and Barrett still look kind of the same. Come on, newcomer, follow me. <laughs> okay. X. These are some new mechanics we have in this uh, new threat. Some mods conflicting right there. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the deal is, Nico. We'll have to... Uh, I'll be playing around with them over the course of this playthrough, I'm sure. Uh, so what do we have here? Ex-Soldier innate ability. During battle, the ex-Soldier will gain a boost to strength and magic whenever a limit break is used by the party. So whenever anyone uses a limit break, Cloud gets a boost to strength and magic. Oh yeah, look at the train! <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the config. Field message is on fast, that's good. Let's stick battle. Oh wait, no, we'll leave battle message there. We'll put battle speed up to fast. I feel like the, uh, this version emphasizes his fucking hooves even more. Uh, yeah, we'll leave everything like that. Oh yeah, I guess we'll put ATB on weight. That's what they recommended. Uh, how is the uh, volume, by the way? Between my voice and the game. Sounds good, yeah. All right, I think we're I think we're ready to go. What items do we start with here? Ten potions, five ethers, five phoenix downs, three antidotes, three echo drops, and a tent. I wonder how that differs from the original game. Yuki, how's it going? 
grab a couple of potions. I feel like his run looks a little weird. Nice. I like what I've played of this so far. I like the balance. It seems to be well balanced. You know, not like just stupid difficulty where those guys are taking a load of hits. But, uh... Still, uh, some extra difficulty where it counts. These backgrounds are looking nice. <laughs> Takes a few screens before we get to this point in the remake. Can't talk to Wedge here. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Not every day you find one, uh, one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. But he left them and works as a mercenary now. You can catch your name. This is where they do ask about his name in the remake as well, but of course we don't get to choose in the remake. You know, Jesse asks Biggs, and uh, Biggs tells her. Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell you all do it. I told you to never move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. We're gonna blow it. We're gonna blow this place sky high. Ex soldier, huh? Don't trust you. Let me ask you something. You want regular battle music or the field battle music? Uh. I'm not really sure what to do here. Because uh, I don't think you can change this setting once you choose it. Nico, what's the deal with this? When I was testing, I chose field battle music. Because the music in this first bombing section kind of works differently than the rest of the game. You don't hear the main boss theme when you fight the scorpion, for example. When you fight the scorpion, it, it should just play the... Uh, bombing theme. Battle theme won't play all the time, but you can switch from save points. Oh, you can switch from save points. Okay, let's just go for field battle now then. Can you speed up battle sequences in this version like you can on PS4? Oh yeah, yeah, you could do that with the, with the original game as well, Storm. Increasing battle speed and options. Yeah, I just did that on the last screen. Alright then, let's go. Cool. It'll be interesting just to notice differences now between this and the remake. Like, he walks through the gate first in the remake before looking up. The layout is obviously quite different. Oh, is that what you're on about, Storm? Okay. You mean like, just like increase the speed of the whole game? I thought you were just talking about the, the, the ATB gauges, the time gauges. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted MP there. Fruiter. Yeah, this original game is still going to have its place, even after the remake. Like, the, the aesthetic is quite different in this. And the, uh, the atmosphere. It's a little bit, like, grimier. Oh. 
I was pretty happy with the difficulty of the remake demo. I mean, like, I, I, I on my first playthrough, I didn't um, use any Phoenix Downs, and I had lots of potions left. But at the same time, I was playing absolutely terribly against the Scorpion, using loads of potions. Um, so I still felt like I was playing like shit. And I really felt encouraged to... I felt incentivized to get better and replay it. And there was still, you know, I feel like there's still stuff that I need to learn with regards to how certain mechanics work and how I should be playing and switching between characters. But I feel like there'll probably be a hard mode as well. I really hope so. Um. Let's talk to Wedge. I'll secure the escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez, are we are we uh, really gonna blow uh, blow up that huge furnace? This will be something to see. The church garden will look great. Yeah, I can't wait just to, I can't wait to see the slums here in that filthy sleazy slums theme. The dead will damn pop up. That base. I wonder how they're gonna remake that uh, theme. Yo, this your first time in a reactor? No, of course not. I did work for Shinri, you know. These places produce Mako energy. It's what, it's what keeps Midgar powered. <laughs> Cloud. Eh. But Mako's the lifeblood of the planet. And the Shinra's sucking it all out with these fucking reactors. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. You know, I feel, I think some people think Barrett's a little bit too over the top uh, in the remake, and he is very heightened. Uh, but I, th I think it does a good job of recreating that tension between them. They're, they're kind of like a cute old couple, Cloud and Barrett. And uh, I don't know, I, I still think the remake captures that kind of adorable quality. <laughs> Yeah, it is what he's like in the in the original. Because, like, Barrett is quite, uh... Is obviously quite heightened in the, in the original as well here. Yeah, like, he's he's always had a, had, had a short fuse, obviously. Like, he's always screaming and cursing in the... in this game. I guess for some people, though, when they see it translated with voice acting, it's like, feels like it's a bit too much or something, but I like it. When the, the first time I saw the elevator scene, I was like, oh, maybe it's going a little bit too far there, but uh, it, uh, it, it definitely grew on me. <clears throat> Shit, all right. But security's tighter inside, so we go, uh, so we're going to go together. Barrett's innate ability. When Barrett takes physical damage, he gains a stack depending on whether he is in the front row or the back row. I really like these new mechanics so far. Front row stacks raise his strength, while back row stacks increase his physical defense. Only five stacks of either type can be held. Gaining a stack of one type will reset any uh, held stacks of the opposite type. Right, so... D hold up. Does that mean that it, it stacks with each hit? If I get... Uh, if I'm on the front row with Barrett and Barrett get, gets hit once, it slightly increases his attack. Then he gets hit again. His attack power increases even more. Up until he gets hit five times. That seems to be the case. Biggs and I got the codes for these doors. That's it, Nico? Yeah, okay. And then, obviously, for defense, it's the opposite. That should do it. Burn. 
Ow. Let's go over here and get our phoenix down or whatever it is. By little, the reactors will drain. Uh, it'll drain out all the Mako from the planet, and that'll be that. It's not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job and getting paid for it. Okay. Oh, now I feel like we're missing the, 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 the battle theme. Yeah, I'll probably leave it on battle instead of field. Nice. Oh, I love that crit sound. Zephyr, what's up? Oh, really? I'm gonna take another hit. Who the hell are you? Nostalgie Della Boo? Oh, cool, Matt. I, I had a feeling. At first, I didn't like the pacing of the demo because it's such a roller coaster, but in the original, it feels like nobody even knows you're here. This is more atmospheric, but the, but the demo is more true to the scenario. I don't I feel like both, both have their own sort of atmosphere. I, I think I'm, I might agree with you that this is a bit more atmospheric. I think I prefer the aesthetic of how the reactor looks. With all the tubes and the smoke, it's very sort of grimy. Whereas the in the remake, it looks quite slick. Um, but I don't know. I really like both. Like the the, the remake has such a flow to it. But like the, the, the dynamic music is so good. The way it kicks in uh, during scenes, like the way it transitions during scenes and battles. Um, yeah, it is quite a roller coaster. Super cinematic, movie like. The way it transitions between the phases of the boss fight. Fucking things exploding everywhere. I like it. <clears throat> Steve O with the 21. Thank you. Push OK in front of a ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look how busted up this place looks here. Bam, 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 bam. Potion. Jesse, what do you have to say? Again. Oh, yeah, so in the remake, she stands beside the ladder here. She's like, come on, you two, go down. She doesn't teach you how to use it or anything. Uh, 
Uh, the scorpion is going to look a little bit different. Um, I didn't... I don't think I changed any battle models, but I guess I did. Or maybe it's because of the new threat mod. Maybe the new threat mod changes how the enemies look. Oh, it is a new threat thing. Okay. Oh, this guy is pretty beefy. Wow. Okay. Still alive? I don't, I don't really want to waste any bolts. I'm gonna save all my MP for the boss. Nice. Yeah, definitely Storm. We seem to be getting a lot more experience as well. Okay. I think I'm going to put Barrett on the front row as well. Uh, quick tent. L1 page up. R1 toggles between battle music. Okay. R2, toggle random battles. What does that mean? I can turn off random battles? Yeah, I Barrett grew on me, uh, nostalgia. I think I'm gonna like Barrett in the remake. He is very heightened, but I thought his relationship with Cloud still had that's still had a sort of in, uh, endearing quality to it, and I liked a lot of the shit talk between them. An explosion here will turn this place into nothing more than a hunk of junk. Okay, Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I ain't turning my back to some damn ex Shinra. I, I really like this exchange in the remake as well. Just do the damn job! Fine, I'll do it. Wake up. Ah, okay, Nico. I'm not really sure how I turned that on. Huh? The hell are you waiting for? Come on, hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Heads up, something's coming. Ten minutes to detonation. So yeah, we're gonna be really tight on time here. And check out this scorpion. 
Go just throw the grenade. Get this bolt going. Let's just wait, he might put the tail up. No. Probably gonna put the tail up now. Yeah. Alright, be careful. If you attack while its tail is up, it'll counterattack with a laser. Nice translation. There we go. You. Okay, we're good. Die. Who's he attacking here? Cloud. Nice. Titan Bangle. Come on, let's get out of here. So I did get this far uh, off stream, but I didn't get too much further. Titan Bangle severely reduces those stats, but it gives me strength plus 10 and three of those slots. Let's just we'll worry about that later. Our save point is gone now as well. Uh, I didn't notice it, Nostalgie. Sorry, I, have, I find your name to be kind of silly. What should I what should I call you? Nostalgia just sounds weird. Uh, he's braver. Dave with the raid. Thank you. How's it going? Welcome, anyone coming in from Dave's stream, we're just checking out this new mod. Well, it's not new, but it's mod. You alright? My leg got stuck. Look out! Oh shit. Now check this shit out. Jesse has joined the party, and the scorpion is still after us. 
targeting error. Get him, Jesse! Venom tail? Doesn't work anymore. Nice. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah, I guess you could say that's an FF8 reference. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Except in FF8, it's a spider that chases you. So, I don't know, maybe it's not trying to reference that. But possibly. Because the, the spider does... Uh, come at you in different forms. I think, you know, as it gets more and more destroyed. I doubt they will, Dave. But maybe. There might be a couple of jokes. Uh, you know what? Let's just run away from these guys. It's, uh, a timer is counting down. Interesting how Jesse falls here as well. Slightly different to the remake. It's the Steam version that's modded, Dave. Uh, that should keep uh, that should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay, now everyone get back. <laughs> I can't wish they have to include that in the remake, surely. Alright, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey, if it's about your money, wait till we get back. Okay, let me just check all this stuff. We get a, a free MP recovery here as well. This is nice. I was hoping for that. That's why I didn't use an ether. Interesting. So we get a big strength boost here and three slots. Although we already have three slots and we have uh, one slot that's going. Uh, that strength boost looks pretty tasty though. I think I'll just leave it as it is. Excuse me. What happened? Nothing. Hey, listen. Are those flowers? Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only a gill. Yeah, I'll buy one. Oh, thank you. Here you are.
Does that say Moogle on that truck? It looks like it says Midgals. It's probably supposed to say Midgar, but again, the L and the R thing with ja uh, Japanese. <laughs> What is that? Some restaurant poster advertisement? that written on the wall? Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. Just what the hell's going on? Let's see if I can talk to anyone else who runs through here. You there. Fight them la later. Actually, I kind of wanted to fight them. Later. Screw it. We'll just we'll just do it this way. Ah. With this new threat mod. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Cloud never came. Cloud. Think he was caught? No way. Cloud. Say, Barris. You think Cloud is going to stay on and fight with us? With Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Wouldn't need him anyway if you if you all weren't such screw ups. Hey Barrett, what about our money? Uh nothing. Sorry. This must be the car. <laughs> the dramatic flip. Cloud! Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. And you come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big deal. Just what I always do. <laughs> Shit. Having everyone worried like that. You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Uh, you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your money, Hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. Heh, heh. Cloud, we'll do even better next time. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. They're definitely going to recreate that in the remake, surely. There you go. Uh, especially with how thirsty Jesse is in the uh, demo. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. 
quit thanking me? Ah, that's okay. Don't mention it. Just doing my job. I guess so, but I still owe you one. My job. That's right. I'm... Well, that's, that's slightly different in this translation. Yeah, it's like I have the models set to something different for like everyone other than the main characters. So it's kind of conflicting a bit. But uh, it's all right. I'll play around with it uh, off stream. This is the sector. Uh, this is the sector eight. Did I say sector there? I think I might have just said sector. Uh, this is the Sector 8 service to uh, Sector 7, Train Graveyard. Expected time of arrival, 0023. Edgar Standard Time. And I love the atmosphere in the train. That music. And the guy who just sits at the back, who lives in the train, apparently. Can't wait to see what they do with these scenes in the remake. I don't think the remake is going to feel as somber as this. Like when we split up there and meet up with Aerith, like it's very gloomy and it just looks so grimy. Uh, and I don't think the remake is going to have that feel, but it'll still have its own atmosphere, I think. And like, I, I do love how the, uh, I do love the atmosphere in the remake demo, but it is just a bit different, you know? Yeah, that's probably uh, worth the... Uh, I'd say you're right there as well, Dave. The lack of voices when you're just focusing on the sound and the music. <laughs> oh, Anxious Heart will definitely be in the remake. I I'm sure we'll hear all the, all the themes. But the remake will, will be putting a spin on it. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. I like how he looks. Huh? Oh, I've got guests. This is my house, but feel free to make yourselves at home. See the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the reactor are, are operating out of somewhere down in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Pirates looking over there. Did you hear that? Is that just a coincidence? That he looked over at that time? Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. We passed the security check this time. All of us have fake IDs. But by tomorrow, these IDs won't work anymore, so Jesse has to make a fresh batch of new ones. Yeah, <laughs> what is Wedge doing here? Avalanche is gonna be famous, and I guess I am too. Hey Cloud, you want to look at this with me? Cloud looks so huge in comparison. Really should try to uh, change his model to their to whatever their style is called. It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I don't know. Sure, why not? I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors. 
you know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 to 10,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other supports built into each sector. Psst, whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern sector. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. That's cool. Instead of names, we, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew. Look what's next. Look. This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the central pillar and then branches off into each sector of the slums. On this route are checkpoints that, are, uh, that the train passes through. And each checkpoint has an ID sensor that can scan the biometric data of everyone on the train as it goes by. The, bio the biometric data is held in your ID card that's checked against a database in Shinra's HQ. The sensor detects each person, then checks for a valid ID card. Whisper, whisper, that's why we're all using fake IDs. Speak of the devil. That light means we're in the ID security check area. Whisper, whisper, when the lights go off, we'll be in the clear. We're almost back now. What a relief. I know. Next time I'll make an ID just for you. Oh. I fr How do your interactions with Jesse change things in this game? You know, I know the game calculates all your interactions with Tifa and Aerith and Red 13 and Barrett, and like depending on how you interact, it'll change the date sequence. But you have a lot of these choices with Jesse as well. Do they. Does, does it change anything significant? Yeah, probably some dialogue later on in the game. No spoilers, but. <laughs> well, I'm fucking asking. I'm asking for you to tell me. Might be an overlook with some good content. Okay. Looking forward to it. Okay, then I'll put a little, uh, then I'll put a little extra effort into it and make it with a bang. Snore, snore, don't act so damn big, Barrett. <laughs> ah, okay. So you were trying to spoil the game, but now you've realized that I've played it before, Ram Curry. Is that the case? So you wanted to tell me that she dies very soon. Chat inform me. Could someone give Ram Curry a fucking 24 hour ban? Fuck you, Ramkurd. I don't like your style. Thank you. Uh, look, you can see the surface now. The slums don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, them folks could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? I like this interaction here. Never expected to hear that out of someone like you. You know, up until now, Cloud, very uncaring about the planet it would seem, or not capable of this sort of thought. You just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. 
It's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. I love how they refer to Midgar as a pizza as well, with all the different sectors, like slices. All the pollution from the city falls down from above, so the slums below are full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactors uh, keep draining up all the Mako energy. And why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? Uh, what are you, ignorant? Because they ain't got no money. Or I don't know, maybe... Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I get it. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Really looking forward to that scene in the remake. <clears throat> Love this background. And the sounds. Great scene here later with uh, Aerith's uh, adoptive mother. Yo, get over here, all of you. Or get over here, all of you. <laughs> oh, doesn't this guy have quite a few lines of dialogue? I've been a trained man my whole life. I've seen a lot of people pass by in a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. But after a while, it stops getting to you. I wonder how long it's been. There's an invisible rail now between me and the passengers. I can never live their lives. I'm just a train man, plain and simple. Man, this guy getting all philosophical here. That's not to say I don't get involved now and then. Back during the war, I saw a lot of desperate scenes. But that's a story for another day. The war that they allude to here is the war between Wu Tai and uh, Midgar, I think. First train leaves Midgard, 5.04 a.m. Yo, Cloud, you listen up. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't you all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. <clears throat> One thing I hope about the remake is that Avalanche aren't depicted as being completely innocent or more or less innocent. You know, because, uh, you know how we saw in the demo that uh, the president was responsible for, for blowing up that reactor or for doing most of the damage and, uh, you know, making them responsible for uh, the lives of all the people that the reactor affects. And maybe did, did some people get killed in that explosion? Um Where in this game, I feel like, well, I again, like we don't know what, what they're what they're going to do in the remake, but yeah, like I hope Avalanche are still responsible for um, fucking people's lives up, basically. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is a bit of a mistranslation. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here, but they say it's haunted by ghosts. Damn. What? 
<laughs> what kind of interaction is that? Surely that's a mistranslation. Thanks, Nico. Oh yeah, these two. What the hell do you want? You know who I am? You can't pass. I got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in here. Wow, you're great. Damn right. Don't waste time. Uh, don't waste time talking is what I always say. But, uh, I... Uh, um, excuse me. You cannot pass without the proper clearance. Did I do good this time? You gotta be tougher. But, uh, I... This guy up here. <laughs> hey now! Oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Huh? You came to see it too? There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place. You can come here when you want. See ya, bro. This is my place. How is this your place? <laughs> we have the guy who owns the train, apparently. You know, that's his house. We can come and visit him. And apparently this is this guy's place as well. <clears throat> Yo, Cloud, over here now. Texas Cowboy Saloon. Ah, <laughs> look at the kid. <laughs> explosions, explosions. Oh man, Avalanche is so cool. Did you hear me? No, oh, what? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist attack up above, and this time they got a Mako reactor. Do you know what this means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things. And if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been a lot of damage done. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Yeah, like, things like this, you know, we're... Apparently, as it stands in this game, we're responsible for the deaths of a lot of people. And I wonder... Yeah, I wonder how that's going to be handled in the remake. I'm not opening up. Go away. Oh, oh, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. Oh shit! What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself. 
And all of a sudden, I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? <laughs> Can we go in here? We're closed today. Come back tomorrow. Oh, is that guy supposed... Is he always supposed to be shooting there? Hey, what the... You! Anyone talking to me must be a novice. I used to be in Soldier. The name's Cloud. I, I really hope this is a big tutorial area in the remake as well with lots of silly shit. The name's Cloud. Used to be with Soldier. I got no business with you. Oh! Huh. Well, I never heard of you. Hey. Hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. So... We can buy some iron bangles. Grenades. I'm just gonna hold on to everything for now. You dried up old geese. You tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? For a price, that is. One gill? One hundred gill? Nah. Get out of here, kid. Cheap fuck. Huh? Who the hell are you? No unauthorized access. Since today is special, I'm gonna let you in on a juicy bit of news. You gotta keep it to yourself. Did you hear about the bombing? What, that again? You must be sick of hearing it. It's been so long since there was any real news down here. Let's choose the other option. Everyone's in a buzz about the reactor on the plate being blown up by that terrorist group, Avalanche. They call themselves an anti-Shinra group focused on saving the planet from Mako reactors, but... Word is that it's for personal reasons. Revenge or something, maybe. And, yeah, like, I really do hope they keep some of this stuff in the remake. Like, just the grey morality of Avalanche. You know, that they're not just completely virtuous, that Shinra is responsible for all these false flags where it's really them blowing everything up. You know, it is cool that they are responsible for the the tower falling down later and everything. But, yeah. Well, all I know is that folk are scared and business is really starting to pick up. People are expecting Shinra to come down hard on the slums, so they're stocking up on whatever weapons and arms they can get their little hot they, they can get their hot little hands on. Now, if we can just get rid of some of this uh, back stock, we'll be doing okay. All right, we'll come back here later. You know what I do? I, I'll bet you don't. Come by tomorrow and I'll tell you. All right. Are we playing the whole thing in one sitting? Lord, no. This may be a slum, but don't think the bed's free. <laughs> you want to catch a nap, Pops? Uh, get out of here, kid. Shrug. Tough guy, huh? You'd better sleep when you can. You'd better save when you can. That's the trick to being tough. Remember that, old dude. I like that kid. <laughs> Bolt. Ooh, check out the saucy poster there.
holster on the bed. <clears throat> okay, go on ahead. Papa! Marlene! Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Uh... Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But... A flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. Oh, what are we doing? I usually go for Aerith when it comes to the dates. Uh, maybe we'll go for Tifa this time. I feel like Tifa makes a bit more sense. If there was a, if there was a canonical uh, version, it would probably be Tifa. I'm not sure how we even go on the date with Yuffie. Uh, yeah, Nico, go go ahead. Maybe we should go for one of the silly dates this time. Although we probably already fucked it up by saying we fought with Barry. If we wanted to go for Barry. Oh, your choices don't matter. You can pick the date in this. Oh, okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's give it to Tifa. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Yeah, I remember getting it with Cloud uh, or with Barris before. You can go on a date with Red 13 as well, can't you? Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. Go on, Wedge. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm -mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. I'm not interested in your stories. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And now look at me. I'm roly-poly. Don't know. I really hope they keep that line. That is a great line. Uh, don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. Pick. Why don't you have one too? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here. So you'd better listen to whatever I tell you. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. Papa, welcome home. Ah, You alright, Barris? Great. I bet they're gonna have the materia tutorial here as well in the remake. I There was one line uh, during the Scorpion boss in the demo where Cloud was giving Barret shit for not knowing about materia. 
And he's like, I know how to use materia, damn it. <laughs> so I'd say they'll do a similar sort of thing. I'm really intrigued to see what they do with materia in the remake as well. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meet. Sit down. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute. I'll make one for you. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah. Why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. You'd better go down below. Sin. Oh my god. I think I had a Final Fantasy VII dream last night. It's just hit me. I saw this guy. This guy on the TV. I saw him in the remake in my dream last night. Uh, but he was black. But he still had the glasses. And I think I might have actually been streaming the game because I remember like pointing it out to people. I was like, hey, look, it's the guy from the TV and from the original game. Isn't that cool? He looks like a gas mask. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I definitely had a dream about this guy. <clears throat> I'm just thinking. Did I? Or is it something else I'm thinking of? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like it just hit me there when I saw him. Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. I think they were... F oh, yeah, it's hit I'm remembering more of it now. Oh, my God. Right, so in the remake... In my, dr in my dreams version of the remake... Uh, during this scene, everyone's sitting back and they're flicking between channels. And then this guy pops on the screen for a second. Uh, and, and Barrett's like, keeps changing the channel. But someone tells him, no, go back. Go back to the news. And then they bring it back and, we, and, we're, see, and, we're, and, and we're seeing this guy again. But he's a black guy. And his glasses are like, you know, more normal looking, I guess. <laughs> I think it was all because of my bomb, but all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. We're gonna have to see if that actually, uh, if, if that happens now in the remake. <clears throat> oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Uh... Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Pico. I can rarely remember my dreams. Uh, you think I'm a little too uptight? Uh, no, not at all. Well, that's okay. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Oh, believe me, you look like it, Wedge. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. 
You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here right now. Don't go thinking you so bad just because you was in Soldier. Look at Biggs. <laughs> yeah, Barrett's pretty, uh, Barrett's pretty over the top in the original, huh? Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. Don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. Oh, I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Shucks. Money. Uh, money fucking. Uh. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about Shinra or Soldier. But don't get me wrong, I don't care about Avalanche or the planet either. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Money. Oh my. Must have been, uh, must have been for a lot of it. Sure, well what the hell, it's a verbal agreement. Now let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud. Didn't you hear me? Cloud. You say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Cloud. You just want friends. Isn't that right? Blow off. Yeah, well, you look kind of lonely to me. Oh, isn't Wedge fucking intuitive here? I hope they keep this part of Wedge's character in the remake. If you ever, uh, if you ever got anything you want to get off your chest, you can always talk to me. Ah! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Barrett going a hundred miles an hour on the punching bag. Papa, you're so great! Yeah, you definitely nostalgia. Uh, listen, Cloud, I'm asking you. Please join us. Think of all the innocent people we could kill. While blowing up all the reactors in Midgard. Sorry, Tifa. The planet's dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. To let Barrett and his buddies do something about it got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving. You're just gonna walk right out ignoring your childhood friend? What? How can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. Look, the well. Do you remember? Hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's not. I wonder how they're going to handle this in the remake. I wonder if they're going to be choices or if it'll just be uh, a scene. Not scene. Without any choices. Let's talk about it. Yeah, back then. I feel like Cloud would want to ignore it, given his character. I thought you would never come, and it was getting a little cold. Okay, Overpower. Don't tell me too much about it, though. I don't want to know. 
I don't want to know the juicy details. Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> I like how the sky looks there, the stars. Really nice. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. Seems that all the boys are leaving me behind. But I'm different from them. I'm not just gonna find a job. The ponytail? I wanna join Soldier. I'm gonna be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? What's with Cloud's eyes? Like he's missing an eye there. I think it's just supposed to be his hair covering it. It looks kind of weird. Uh, isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably wouldn't- I won't be able to come back home for a while. Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you come save me, all right? What? <laughs> Tifa and her damsel in distress fantasy here. When someone is in trouble, sometimes their hero rescues them. I want to experience that at least once. What? <laughs> what? Come on, promise me. All right, I promise. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? I'm not a hero and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. I love how Barrett climbs up. That is, our, they have to keep that in the remake. <laughs> Wait a second, big time soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. Receive Barrett's stash. 1,500 gil. I think that's the same as the original game, isn't it? <clears throat> this is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... Got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst, we're really hurting for help, right? Ah, uh, That money's for Marlene's schooling. Marlene and her schooling. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. say the remake demo still has some of the cheese or you know just like the, the campiness the the quirkiness with Barrett and Cloud I feel like you know it's different but I'd say we'll still get they'll still have some of the silliness for sure uh, you know we're gonna get the walled market section with Cloud uh, dressing up as a woman and all that there, there's, there's gonna be lots of silliness there Lots of poking fun at Cloud's, like, stoicness. 
there'll be a lot of, uh, they'll bring a lot of humor out of that, I'm sure. Cloud trying to act all serious in these ludicrous situations. <clears throat> Are you aware that the game isn't cropped properly to the stream? No, I'm not. Hold on. That's the first time anyone said anything, I think. Uh, no, it's cropped properly. Ah, okay, Nico. Visible earlier? It looks okay to me right now. And when I looked at OBS in that last room, it looked okay. Like it looked fine. Marlene? Wanna say anything? Look at Marlene cleaning up. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? <laughs> uh yeah, let's go for that. <clears throat> I don't know what you mean. Yeah, sure you don't. I'm going this time. Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh... I don't really know how to use Materia. I'll give you that Materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. <sighs> you wouldn't understand. So this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll ask Jesse again later. But you're in charge of the Materia! Alright, we got the Materia system. Receive- Oh! We get sense! Interesting. I guess for this mod, you know, you, they, they want you to have this little bit of advantage with, the, with how the enemies are gonna be. You know, if the enemies are, are a lot more challenging. They want you to be able to read their weaknesses and things like that, maybe. Because normally you don't get sense here. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. The beginner's hall was renovated for the new threat mod. Ah, don't forget to visit. Cool. Uh, Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. How old is Marlene at this stage? Fucking fair play to her. Running the shop here. Is she gonna have to deal with all the drunks coming in and everything? I don't know, man. Bit dangerous. I think she's younger than 10. I thought she was like 7. She like... Is she 9? <laughs> 4? <laughs> 6? Tifa's innate ability. Once per battle, when Tifa is KO'd, she'll auto-revive with 1 HP, retaining statuses, limit gauge, and queued actions. Cool, okay. ba da -do. Marlene's gonna cap a bitch if it comes to it. Probably. <clears throat> Look at her go. She knows.
<laughs> I was thinking of getting some FF7 emotes for the remake, Dave. Uh, obviously, I already have uh, Sephiroth. And I'm sure that'll, that'll get a good bit of use. Uh, I was thinking of, of maybe getting another Sephiroth emote, like a Sephiroth smirk, like a sort of Sephiroth smile. Uh, I think that'd be good. Uh, Marlene with a gun would be good. I do like that. What kind of cloud emote? What would be good for a cloud emote? Just like a stone-faced cloud? Just like a completely straight look? Might be good for cloud. Blank expression, yeah. Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in a slum like this. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yeah, yes, welcome. We sell, we buy. Man, the state of this place. Hey, Raul with the 11 months. Thank you. How's it going? Uh, yeah, the usual. Fire, ice, lightning, restore. What evil lurks? I must destroy. All right, let's check out this new tutorial area. <laughs> this guy have different dialogue now. <laughs> You'll forget about it. Oh, it's you. Get my friend on the second floor to teach you. Is that all you have to say? Hey! Hey! Wait a minute, you! You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Same dialogue from this guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything just yet. Ah oh, shit, I just gave him a fucking gill by mistake. Damn, man. Just forget about it. Wait, what? Is he still not giving me the room even though I gave him a gill? Oh, whatever. ba da -do. Sup, I'm test zero. Uh, I got a test battle for you. If you want to get some practice in, uh, sure. Oh! Well, okay, I guess we're fighting this, this, this scorpion again. With the music still playing. <laughs> this is the new threat mod. But, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to take on this fight, but there are new things to learn here, apparently. Is he not raising his tail anymore? Yeah, if I use items, I'm not sure if they disappear for good. 
I'd say probably not because it's a test, but... Okay, I guess we better heal him up. Screw it. Switched row maybe for the limit. I really like that limit buff. That was pointless, but this is the beginner's hall, new threat version 1.5 edition. If you're looking for some info, then you came to the right place. Barrett do the same amount of damage on the back row since he has long range in vanilla FF7? Uh, does he? Yeah. Did, is, is Barrett's damage the same on the back row? I, I thought long range materia still made a difference to Barrett's attack though as well. Maybe I'm forgetting things. Yeah, that's probably it, Dave. Oh yeah, he does have he does have those melee weapons as well, doesn't he? Hey, I've been doing this for a while. I'll talk them through it. And for free too. Yeah, it's cool that uh, Cloud gives the tutorials. What's New Threat? The New Threat mod is a gameplay modification for FF7. It currently has the following features. Ooh. New side quests and content. Oh shit, I didn't know about that. Uh, enhanced enemy AI and attacks. New bosses and challenges. Revised equipment spells, snazzier field models, uh, party leader swap. I guess, yeah, we're seeing the different field models, but my character models are still set to the old character models for the main characters. I'll have to try and change those. Uh, party leader swap, disc three only. Flashback and cutscene skips, more shops and save points, uh, field battle music option, and a surprise for disc 2. Cool. You can find a more detailed list of the changes and features in the README and database files available from the mods forum pages on either uh, QHIM forums or ngplus.net. But the important thing to remember is that this mod is designed to strike a balance between fun and challenge. It's not a hard type mod in the traditional sense. Very cool. Yeah, I really like how the difficulty is balanced so far and the uh, that extra boss was cool. You know, the scorpion wasn't super hard, but it was still a little bit more challenging. 
Uh, do I want to know about the additional content? Yeah, there's more to add. There's more to do now. There's side quests, new bosses, and other extras to discover. Here's some of what we've got. Extra battle, an extension to Battle Square, which features three special, uh, special battles. Level 4 limit side quest. Each character unlocks their level 4 limit by completing their own side quest. Oh, okay. What about Aerith, then? I wonder, will I... Will we grind with Aerith to get all her limit breaks and see what her side quest is, if she has one? Uh, June and League. Uh, round Robin Corny, in which players can win big prizes. Okay. There's more, too, like the Dark Cave side quest. This is a really well-made mod, yeah, so far. And I've heard nothing but good things from other people who've completed it. It wasn't just equipment, either. Materia and spells were given some work. Uh, some work, too, so that magic stays handy later in the game. Interesting. I can't wait to see how they've balanced enemy skill. Some spells now deal more damage for less MP, uh, or have a new effect. There's three new enemy skills as well, replacing older ones like Roulette. Interesting. The AP needed for Materia and sometimes their equip effect has also been tweaked. Remember to read Materia carefully before using it. Okay. Innate character abilities. We already kind of know about these, but let's read it anyway. Everyone you recruit into your party has a special ability called an innate. These are unique abilities and traits that trigger in battle, raising their stats or, act or activating a special effect. You can find a full list of innates for each character in the documentation supplied with the NT installer. Okay, well, we're, we're already learning about them as we pick them up. Expanded save points. Save points have a few extra options now. You can use field music for battles instead of the battle theme, use a tent quickly, uh, and even toggle random encounters off. Found a problem in the mod? Feedback helps with making improvements and getting rid of bugs. You can leave feedback and... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Other things to watch for. Yeah, keep your eyes open and be ready to try new strategies in this mod. There's always something new to keep you on your toes. I think that was it. Fantastic. Okay. What up, girl? This is the fabled save point, now with expanded features! At an expanded save point, you can quickly use a tent. Yep, 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 yep. You can also access something else. But right now, it's a secret. Ooh, okay. One more thing. There's a talking treasure chest hanging around here somewhere. Don't believe it's lies. What? Take care, don't die. I'm a treasure chest. Like, this happens in the original game, but that was- it was slightly different. Now, that was implying that I was thinking maybe there's a secret boss if you talk to the chest or something. I'm a treasure chest. I've got no enemies waiting to ambush you. So open any chests you find. Right. So there are gonna be fucking mimic chests. There are gonna be enemy chests. Ba, 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 ba. Hey soldier, tell us about battles. We'll even pay you. <laughs> Look at these guys. I hope these guys make a return in the remake. And I hope that uh, the wall market is just full of all those shady guys as well. Uh, sleaze mongers. Uh, I'm not- I'm not hard up enough to take money from guys like you, but I'll rap with you for a while. Uh, 
status ailments. Is any of this new, I wonder? Oh yeah, no it is. Advanced ATB. ATB or active time battle is the system that governs when a character or enemy is ready to take their turn in battle. Select weight. The ATB setting uh, has all the gauges freeze while you select commands for the team. Yeah. Weight is generally the most useful uh, of the three ATB settings. It can be used to optimize your party's turns and speed. Yeah, they, they suggested that you use weight for this mod as well. Can you add the monkey S emote? Not... Oh, I thought I thought I had the monkey S. Oh wait, Monarch S. I don't e I don't know what Monarch S is, but I guess I could look into it. Uh, ATB is a strange setting. The gauge is supposed to freeze during attack animations, but will but will often not do this. Recommended is uh, not recommended. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think that's how it is in the original game, Dave. It is kind of weird. Uh, finally, active keeps the gauges moving, even while selecting commands. It's dangerous to use, but can help nullify a fast enemy speed and turn advantage. Uh, I wonder, is magic defense fixed in this as well? I would say it probably is. But I think in the original game, magic defense just wasn't a stat that worked at all. Uh, switching ATB modes should be the first step toward building a strategy against tough enemies and bosses. The waste trick is a way of making the best use of your team's speed to gain a turn advantage over the enemy. Set your ATB to waste, and when one of your characters executes their turn, open a command list to freeze the ATB gauges of the enemy. The idea is to cover each other's turns and keep the enemy from charging their ATB gauge for as long as possible, allowing you to get multiple turns. Interesting. Okay, so I, you pause the enemy's gauge, their invisible gauge, by opening up menus, by opening up, like, magic or items. And I do that during my my uh, party's attack animations. And then when they finish theirs, then I go and select something. Okay, I'm a little bit confused by that, but okay. Damage reduction. There are many ways to reduce the damage you take in battle, and which should be considered when taking on tough opponents. First of all, having a character in the back row reduces the damage you take physical attacks by 50%. You can swap between the two using change. Second, barrier and M barrier reduce damage. Yeah, yeah, this is all standard stuff. Oh, this stacks with defend in the case of barrier. Okay, interesting. Third, you can use the sadness status to reduce all damage by 30%. Which again, stacks with other methods of damage reduction. Yeah, yeah. Sadness is super OP in the original game as well. I, you stick your party on the back row, give them sadness. Really, uh, really good defense buff. Uh, fourth, you can use elemental protection to reduce damage again by another 50%. Or even nullify it completely depending on the level of elemental or equipment you're using. Okay. This goes without saying, but equipping strong armor and accessories that boost vitality and spirit can also reduce damage. Bam, bam, bam. The problem with habits and routine is that it can make you inflexible. You've got to break out of them. Trying new things and learning more about the game mechanics will give you a significant edge. Don't get stuck in a rut. 
Each character has a specific set of strengths and weaknesses that make them better suited to certain roles in battle than others. Here's a quick idea of that. Tank, a character with high defense and spirit, soaks up damage using cover materia. For best results, have them use the defend command as well. Damage physical, a character with high strength takes this role. It's great for blitzing through lots of monsters as, as attacks are quicker than spells. They lack versatility though. Spellcaster, anyone with a high magic stat takes this role. You can decimate groups and tough enemies with the right spells. Just make sure to have plenty of materia and MP. Support, it's a bad idea to have everyone on the offensive for tough fights. It can be a good idea to designate uh, someone using healing and protective magic. Maybe the tank. Of course, these are just some very general examples. You'll want to experiment with different setups to find the right one. Let's go through a quick rundown of each character's strengths and weaknesses. Cloud, all round stats, has a slight edge in strength and magic, and take on a number of roles. Barret, high vitality and strength, low dexterity and magic. Uh, Tifa, high strength and dexterity, low magic and vitality. Uh, Eris, uh, high magic and spirit, low strength and vitality. Red 13, all round, has a slight edge in dexterity, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all of them, but you can also build these characters in different ways using the source point system later in the game. Post Midgar, okay. Man, this uh, mod is quite something. Status is a key part of the game, it can determine how a fight plays out. I'll probably wind up repeating myself, but let me go over a few basic points. Sleep. Targets under sleep cannot act and only wake up when struck by a physical attack. Use magic to add, or use magic to hit enemies under sleep. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was talking about my, my party there, not enemies. Right, so if you want to keep sleep uh, inflicted upon enemies, you just you need to use magic. If you use physical, you'll break them out. I guess. Bananas, how's it going? Uh, poison inflicts incremental damage equal to, uh, to one of uh, 32 of the afflicted maxes. Afflicted's max HP. It should be noted that poison cancels defense. Uh, okay. Fury accuracy of attacks drop, including spells, but the rate at which the limit gauge builds increases dramatically. Interesting. I'm not sure if that if that's how it worked in the original. Did accuracy of attacks drop? Including spells? I don't think so. I think a, I think a lot of this stuff that we're reading is, is new. Decreases damage by 30%, but the limit gauge will go much slower. Yeah, I think that's probably the same. Maybe the percentage is a bit different. Petrify disables the character and makes them immune to damage. In the original FF7, statuses aren't really that big of a deal. Um, you know, say compared to 9 or 10, or probably even 8. You know, like when it comes to haste and poison and darkness and silence and sleep and all of that, you don't really have to worry about them too much in the original game. Disables a character and makes them immune to damage. Slow numb inflicts this when the timer runs down. Confuse. A character will start randomly attacking themselves and their allies. Enemies cannot evade attacks while confused. Boosts attack power. Makes you attack automatically. Can be beneficial in the right circumstances, but treats with caution. Rarely disables a target. Very useful for getting around an enemy's counters or special AI triggers. Okay. I bet statuses are going to be a much bigger deal in this. 
darkness decreases the accuracy of physical attacks. This only affects the player team. Monsters are unaffected. Okay. Any target is reduced in size and all physical attacks deal one damage. Certain special enemy attacks uh, ignore this though. Okay. Frog uh, target attack power is greatly reduced and they're unable to cast spells. We'll figure all this out. Jewel Drain Seizure. This isn't in the original game at all. A reverse region effect that reduces HP over time. Use region to nullify it or dispel to get rid of it. Okay. Peerless. Invincibility. Can now be removed with dispel or do barrier. Resist. Prevent statuses from being applied. This extends to positive statuses, so be careful when using it. Death Force. A handy status that prevents instant death. Try applying this while under the death sentence to avoid being killed. <laughs> oh, I'm beat! Yeah, this is a lot of fucking shit here. Your status can be changed while magic and items... Uh, it can be changed with magic and items, so you should keep an eye on it to avoid surprises. Elemental. There are 16 elements that you need to know about. They can use these elements effectively to quickly dispatch enemies will save you a lot of trouble in the long run. This, uh, the following list of general elemental... Uh, the following is a list of general elemental affinities. Just remember that there are plenty of exceptions to the rule. Fire, plant and animals. Ice. Ice best used on animals and bugs. Effective on fire. Earth, best used against heavy opponents, can't be uh, can't hit flying enemies. Poison, good against humanoids. Gravity, can quickly kill flying enemies. Ineffective against heavy enemies. Water, an effective element strong against machines and fire monsters. Wind, very useful against flying enemies, not so useful against heavy enemies. All makes sense. Holy, best used on undead or dark monsters. Hidden, mysterious element that tends to be effective against certain enemies. Cut, physical element, governs swords and claws. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you use elements that are effective, you'll deal two times damage. You can also defend yourself against attacks with elemental protection, but the same is true for the enemy, so keep, uh, so keep an eye out. To see what elemental resistances an enemy has, you can use the sense material on enemies with less than 65,000 HP. Oh really? So you can't uh, use sense on enemies that, are, that have over 65k. Okay, I think we might be finally done with the tutorials. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of reading. I just want to talk to these guys. Smack! Knock! You've got to hang in there. Limit breaks can turn a hard battle right around. Wah! Okay, now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> okay, I think we can uh, continue. Let's see if we can, can we use this? Okay, I want to change the battle music to regular battle music now, instead of field music. So, R1? Okay, battle music normal. Cool.
Oh! Oh, look at my MP and my, uh... Barret's health. Oh, man. Yeah, we didn't get a heal. That was the test fight. Can we get a... a free sleep here? Oh, uh, you asshole. Yeah, go on. Lord Oda, how's it going? <laughs> you dried up old geese. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Let's buy two iron bangles. I'm not going to buy any grenades just yet. I already forget what jewel is. What's the jewel status? I feel like we could go for another lightning materia. Especially in Midgar, you're fighting a lot of mechs. Go for another restore. Couldn't hurt. I'm really liking this mod so far. Great. Buy a few more antidotes. Couldn't hurt. Bum, bum. mod is great so far, Congo. Uh, but I never thought FF7 was Resident Sleeper anyway. I always really liked FF7's combat system. But uh, this definitely adds... Like, we're, we're barely into it. Like, all we did was the first reactor, but already the, the opening bombing mission already had some great twists. And it's not, like, silly hard. You know, it seems to be really well balanced. And they... All sorts of new mechanics added. Uh, yeah, it looks really promising. 
And I've heard nothing but good things from other people as well. So this is interesting. Uh, Tifa starts with cover and enemy lore. Enemy lore which increases encounter rate. Okay. Weird. Um, I guess just if you if you want to grind. I think I'll turn that off for now. I don't really want an increased number of encounters. Cover could be good with Barrett. Stick Barrett on the back row so he stacks defense. Let's do that. Uh, can someone tell me what spirit effect? Healing magic? Yeah, I thought so. I I anything else, though? Oh, hey. So Barrett is... Uh... Magic defense? Not healing, okay. So, I guess healing is just magic. Determines defense against magic attacks. It's meant to be a stat factored in when calculating a character's magic defense. Right, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to give him restore. No, I won't. I will give him cover, though. Probably Chevsworth. I'm not sure. Alright, let's just go with that for now then. This is cool. Thinking about the game in a whole different way. It's like a complete rebalancing of the game core with new bosses. Uh, 
new side quests, all sorts of stuff. Haha, <laughs> I wonder if my son's already left. But it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. Oh shit, what did he say there? By the way, where are you from? Nibelheim. Hmm, did you say Nibelheim? Wasn't it in the news a while back? Something to do with the reactor? That was the first major Mako incident. I remember it was all over the news. Well, uh, would you mind leaving us alone? I want to, I want to enjoy some quiet time together with my wife. Let's talk to the wife. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Listen, if there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, and you, Mr. I Don't Care. I'll be sure to get a little information that'll pique even your interest. Just you wait and see. <laughs> ah, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. Oh, no, we missed out on a few interactions because I went straight up to the house. Ah, shit. When you talk to Johnny here, he says... Uh, so, you and Tifa, childhood friends, that's a good one. <clears throat> Some major foreshadowing with Johnny here if you talk to him, but I guess it's an easy interaction to miss as well. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. He's, well, he says take care of Tifa, but he he, he uh, heavily suggests that you were never childhood friends, which is some major foreshadowing. You know, I got some tickets to Loveless. Do you want to go? What are you, retarded? Midgar is under martial law now. Are you really that concerned for me? Hell no! But in case you forgot, we're in the middle of a slum. They could be anywhere around, so stay on guard. Right, you mean Avalanche. Don't you worry, soldier has been added to the police force. Halt! No one is allowed to pass. <laughs> what are you, retarded? Boy, it's been a while since soldiers been mobilized, hasn't it? I ever tell you that I flunked the soldier entrance exam? Damn right! Blah, blah, blah. Hey, shut up for a minute and let me get back to work. <sighs> I've had it. Me too. You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something. Yes. Well then, shall we? Yes. What? I really need to see a proper translation of, uh, what these guys say. Ugh. Oh, please. What did they do? Did they both take some drugs? They both pretend to die because they agreed for once? They both inject at the same time? 
Morning. Dawn comes and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come on back again, you hear. I hope we, uh... I hope this train man is, uh... As philosophical in the remake. Going off on his big rambles. Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up! Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck? This guy again. You say something? I said, you say something? Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. Look at him just tapping his foot. What's going on? Damn. It, it's empty because of guys like you! Yipes! You, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? Jesus Christ, Barry. Shinra manager. I won't give in to violence. I'm not giving you my seat either. Barrett! Shit. You lucky bitch. <laughs> I didn't know what to say there, so I just came out with bitch. I don't know what would have been more suitable. <laughs> you lucky bitch. So what are we going to do now? Hey, what's up, Scion? Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. You lucky motherfucker. Shit. The hell are you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our itinerary? Our itinerary. Ha! Listen to Mr. Serious here. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's security checkpoints which scan the trains that go by. It's an ID scan system checking for anybody on board who ain't got a clean ID card on. Which Shinra is very proud of. Our fake IDs will get us through the system, and then we... Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've only got two more minutes until the first checkpoint. I'll explain the rest once we're clear. Just keep a low profile until then. Got it? Love Barris. Like he owns the place. <clears throat> Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Let's talk to this guy again. The real, the real guy who owns this place. The real owner. Huh. Oh, it's you guys again. You treat, you treat this place like a hotel. <clears throat> Yo, Mr. Know-it-all big time soldier. You ought to know the area around the number five reactor, right? Wah! Don't. Don't worry about me. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna brag to everyone at work about this. <laughs> we meet him later on in Shinra headquarters as well. Mm, it looks like you've seen this already. It's all right, come a little closer. During this sequence, uh, there are a few optional things you can do. You know, the time starts running down like crazy. So you're naturally incentivized to just keep moving through the cars. Right? Because, like, the timer is at, like, 10 seconds or something. But if you stop and talk to the NPCs during this sequence, you get some crazy lines of dialogue. 
Um, and I think one guy can rob you here. He can, like, steal all the gill you have. We don't have much anyway. But uh, we'll try and talk to as many people as we can. Uh, that's the that's the checkpoint. I'll scan the entire train for anybody with no ID. I wonder if they've changed this for the no, uh, for the threat mod. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. The search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Shit, someone blew it. Unidentified passengers located in car one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. Fire Lord, thank you for gifting the stuff to Jankal. Cheers. 15 seconds, what does he have to say now? Same thing, okay. Car one, lockdown, upgrading to level two warning. Hurry! They're locking the door, sir. Changing to plan two. Hey, you guys are too rowdy. Does this mean we're in a major bind? Gosh, you're adults, but you're acting like kids. Huh? The hell? You want this? Yeah. Give it to me! Go! Oh no, I got stuck! See, I wanted to read all the dialogue, but I didn't really have time. What? That's it? That didn't do anything. Fuck, so I guess now we have to jump out here. The guy at the back gives you an item as well? Oh, really? If you go back to him, what does he give you? We'll jump from here. Follow me, you slow-ass leech. While well, we fuck that up. Phew, be strong. Oh, well. Oh, man. We were forced to jump this far out. Oh, now we're going to have a really long walk ahead of us. We can't just go back now. We've got to go on. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse did good. Now it's our turn. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we'll keep Barrett on the back row with the cover materia. I get. To, I didn't even make it to that train car storm because I was trying to read all the dialogue from everyone. You know, if you if you talk to everyone while the timer's going down, you can get some secret items and stuff. Yeah, I got one item. I got the high potion, I think. But that's all I got. I had a feeling you nodded off. Oh, these backgrounds look different. I think. I think Nico was saying something like that. That cover is already working pretty well. Again, I'm not sure how I should be optimizing this. You know, how they told me to select something while my party is uh, attacking. I feel like just selecting attack might work as well, Dave. 
with the but just leave the cursor pointing at an enemy. I'm not sure if that also works. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. If we try to get through here, we'll set off Shinra's alarms. That's one damn tiny hole. You're telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? Yo, what are we gonna do? Let's look inside. Doesn't seem to be anything that, uh, that'll get us stuck in this duct. Okay, but if we go down this duct, we won't be able to come back. Yeah, me too, Dave. The backgrounds in this game are still uh, gorgeous, I think. Some of them especially. Like, they really do... They're very well realized. Just the whole aesthetic of Midgar, especially. <clears throat> Don't be wasting time. Never know when the Shinra will find us. Go. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Love the rust. <sighs> mm, okay. We're not taking much damage in these fights, so I think we're better off using normal attacks. No need to waste magic. Take a look up here. Jesse? I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card. That's what set it off. I did my best. But I failed. It's all right, Jesse. Next time I'll give you something better. I'll be back at the hideout working on it. So let's see where this ladder leads to.
But as this mod changed, it's a complete rebalancing of the game with some new bosses, new side quests, all sorts of stuff. Oh, still miss. Phoenix down, spider web, two potions, very nice. Spider web casts slow. That could be useful. Hmm. So that just brings us back down here. Let's talk to Wedge. And I think we'll go back up. Cloud, this way, the, re the reactor's up this ladder. Uh, we could walk all the way down there, but I don't think there's anything there. There's a lot of empty space here, no chests or anything. Whip out the bolt on these guys. Whoa! Oh, nice. The spells look nice. That's a bit janky, though. Uh. Hmm. Let's use fire. Kill one of these things. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, actually, Bolt would have been better there, I think. Cool, man. I really like how this is balanced. Very nicely tuned. <clears throat> Everything so far, anyway. Pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Another tent. We'll save that. -da -da. Yeah, we're good on our MP. Let's just use a couple of potions. Save. These screens look really nice. 
Very slick, very polished. And we're back at the reactor. I love that, like, whirling in the background. Wow. You know, it sounds like machinery or just something. It sounds like a machine. Just that, dro that droning, whirling sound in the background. <clears throat> oh, these boys look nasty. Evasion. Oh wait, no, they inflicted darkness as well, so that's why. Dark? Yeah, I'm dark. <clears throat> cool. It's in a little bit better shape, this reactor. Are we gonna have any surprises? Or if this is gonna be the same? Flashback. Papa. Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, Mako reactors, Shinra. I hate them all! Grabs the sword. Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. You all right? Tifa. Huh? No, forget it. Come on, let's hurry. Oh, these boys. I'm looking forward to seeing them in the remake. I really like how all the models look so far from the demo. Like, the dogs look perfect. The Shinra soldiers look fantastic. Uh, the shock troopers look great. The shock troopers are really cool as well, how they use them.
Odin with the 30 months. Thank you. No idea, Jankal. Did Wolsey uh, translate FF7? I thought he was... I thought 6 was the last Final Fantasy he translated. But I could be very wrong there. Yo, we got company. Oh shit. Right, this is this is new. Okay, just some guards. Who are these fancy looking boys here? More darkness, okay. Nice, that defense stack is pretty sweet. I'm really enjoying Barrett's role here on the back row, covering people, stacking that defense. Uh oh. Oh, the spells look so good. I think it can be a little bit wonky at times, Congo. I'm not I'm I'm not noticing it all the time though. Oh, she's not. Okay, wow. That was cool, man. Just uh, an extra fight, nothing too crazy, just nicely balanced. Good little challenge. Uh, okay. I'm kind of tempted to use a tent now. I think I will, instead of the ethers. If that uh, save point is even there, actually, it might not even be there. Yeah, it's there. Nice. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's use a tent. Yeah, pr pretty much everything has been like that so far, Rocco. Like, everything's just slightly harder. With some new encounters that are also just well-balanced, well-thought-out. Like, everything seems well-thought-out. <clears throat> FF7 was definitely quite easy. And, you know, easy to break with the enemy skills and everything.
Not easy when I played it as a kid, though, for the first time, that's for sure. How's it going? getting that limit boost. Hmm, here comes the darkness now, I think, with the beta thing, yeah. Potions from encounters, which is nice. Yeah, Zora Beta. That's the name of the enemy skill you get from the Zolom. It's fun coming up with strategies to get that early game, though. You can get that at a pretty low level. I remember the strategy I used was with Aerith. With her on the back row and sadness. It always ended up with her as the last person standing. Taking advantage of healing wind. Yeah, enemy skills were certainly overpowered. You had the um, big guard as well. Big guard uh, completely erased the usefulness of barrier and M barrier and uh, region. Big guard was just what? Were, big guard was barrier, M barrier, and region all at once. I think wasn't it? Super powerful. And white wind as well. Along so many good ones. Magic breath, yeah. Prime. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick break. Just give me like a minute. I'll be right back when I get back. Keep uh, moving forward. Thanks for tuning in. Be right back.
All right, all right, all right. I'm back. Hey, uh, Jay says nine. I missed your uh, bits earlier. Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Odin, did I thank you for your 30 months as well? I think I did, but thank you again. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep moving forward here. I love how these screens look. So sharp. Kind of being reminded of Machinarium at times as well. Anyone ever play Machinarium? Puzzle game? Just with the, some of the like steampunky aesthetic of this. It reminds me of it. Oh, nice, Dave. I think I remember you telling me. I'm not sure if I ever finished it. Three antidotes. about that precious MP, you know, I only want to use spells when I really feel like I need to. E-Cups, thank you for gifting the sub to JSOS9. Potions. Phoenix down, high potions, some nice rewards. Seven high potions in stock. Very good. Let's see if we can do this first try. Jesse said we all have to push the buttons together. Ah! No. Shit, close enough. Oh! Is that something they changed for the new threat mod? Yeah! <laughs> Just like, ah, fuck it, you don't need to do this shit. Or did I actually pull it off? I don't remember Barrett saying shit close enough. But maybe. Likely changed. Hey, what's up, Roxel? Oh, hey, I'm Fury with Cloud. Interesting. Fury and no tranquilizer. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just we'll just roll with the fury then. Oh, 
Bye, King. How's it going? Uh, cool view down below here. ID with the 16. Thank you. Now, let's see what this boss is like. This way. Shinra soldiers. Shit. What the hell's going on? It's a trap. Oh shit. President Shinra? <laughs> the footstep sounds that he gets. Why don't we get footstep sounds like that? Why don't we get dramatic footstep sounds? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be that... What was it? Avalanche! And don't you forget it! We gotta bring you down! Long time no see, sir. Long time no see? Oh, that uniform. So you left the company and joined this rabble. I hate to see good Mako going to waste, but... Tell me, traitor. What was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember every single soldier's name. Don't give a damn about that. This place is going up with a big bang soon. Serves you all right. Interesting. So he doesn't have the Sephiroth line here. You know, in the original game, he says, unless... I can't be expected to remember your name. Uh, you know, unless you become someone like Sephiroth. Ah, yes, Sephiroth. Perhaps he was too good or something like that. Um... I wonder if that's a more accurate translation, because I actually did always think that that line was a little bit too corny or a little bit on the nose. Uh, and such a waste of good fireworks, just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the vermin for uh, 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 Shinra the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you King Vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. <laughs> dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. Not to worry. I won't leave you unattended. Click. Does he just snap his fingers there? What's that noise? The hell is that? Oh shit. Meet Plasma Buster, a techno, uh, techno soldier. This will be the prototype's first field test, so please try to, uh, please try not to die too quickly. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great interest to our weapons development team. Techno soldier. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, Mr. President. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Help, Cloud! This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up. Battle, battle, battle. Alright. Let's see what uh, new tricks this guy has up his sleeve. Oh, Barrett's on the back, on the front row. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't change his row for this fight. Well, shit. Okay. He does look a little bit different, yeah.
<sighs> oh! Almost 2k! Heal up, Cloud, please. Go for another one. There's something non functional. I didn't read that properly. Toxic gun. like a bit of a waste for that high potion. Get him? Nice, I think that's it, okay. Not too bad. Cross slash learned already. Cool. Deadly waste. Devised, yeah. It's gonna blow. Let's go, Tifa. Iris, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be alright? Be strong. You worry about yourselves. I'm alright. Just take care of Tifa. You got it. Sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Alright then. Later. You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. You've fallen like this before, but you only grazed your knees that time. What? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? Who are you? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself for now. All right, I'll try and get up. Oh, it moved. See, that wasn't so tough. Just take it slow now, little by little. Hello, hello, I know. But who are you? Hello, hello? You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You 
It just fell from above. It really gave me a scare. I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. <laughs> must be those Genova cells. Flower bed, is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say that grass and flowers won't grow here in Midgar, but for some reason they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. <laughs> yeah, the roof, uh, I don't know what that roof is made of. So, we meet again. Maybe there was no roof? Well, she said the roof must have uh, broken your fall. The roof and the flowers. <sighs> but Cloud's also pumped full of those super-powered Genova cells, so... You know, he can survive anything. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> You're the slum drunk! I hope we get the option to say that in the remake. You were selling flowers. I'm not, I'm not gonna be mean. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, you have materia, right? I have some, too. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe for having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. I'll just be a minute. a little longer. Oh! Now that you mention it. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... I'm Aerith, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. Aerith innate ability. When using the defend command, Geomancer stance will be activated and absorb most elemental damage. Oh, okay. Cool. Elements absorb fire, ice, lightning, earth, gravity, water, wind, Poison and holy. Cool. The name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. I love how Reno just walks in here. There's something creepy about it. I think Reno is the only character design that I dislike from the remake so far, from what I've seen. Because in this game, I always thought he looked kind of scruffy and uh, sleazy and like ragged 
um, rugged or whatever. Uh, and in the remake, he, he looks like a fucking model, you know? I think he's way too pretty. I never, I never, um, saw him that way in this game. I always thought he looked really sort of, uh, yeah, ragged. Oh, really, Dave? Even in the OG, you thought he was like a pretty boy kind of character? I don't know. Look at him there. The way the shirt is sort of undone. He doesn't, I don't know. I never, I never took him that way. I never saw Jesse as being particularly attractive either. Um, but I really do like Jesse's new design all the same. <clears throat> yeah, I saw him as a sort of, as a cool guy, but I never, not, not as pretty as he is in the remake. <clears throat> Uh, Rude looks cool. And wait, actually, have I even seen Rude from the remake? You know, I'm not even sure if I have. I think I have, though, and I think I was okay with how he looks. Just sort of as you'd expect. You think he looks like a goon in both games? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really a fan of how he looked in the remake, but you know, that's just like first impressions. I'm, you know, I haven't seen his character really interact with anyone or anything like that, so who knows? I'll probably like him when I actually play the game. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, oh yeah, he should look like a goon. He like he he obviously looks like a goon in this. Just in the remake, I don't know, I just thought he looked a little bit too pretty. Yeah, I do a little bit of everything. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Sorry, you just reminded me of someone. Cloud, come here a minute. <laughs> Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You do a little bit of everything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Alright then, let's see. How about I go out with you on one date? I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. You know him. No, wait. I know you. That uniform. I love how they handle the flashbacks and like the voices inside his head. It's really well done, I think. Shinra Turk. This guy's a little weird. What are the Turks doing here? Are you after me? Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> the Shinra guy is just supposed to be laughing. Don't fight here. You'll ruin the flowers. This part's classic. Let's head for the roof. They were Mako eyes. Well, whatever. Come on, back to work. 
Oh. I don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself. They're ruined. You're gonna catch holy hell. Classic. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, I guess we should keep the bronze bangle on. What materia does she have? Oh boy. Oh my god. She already has barrier and M barrier. All. Oh. oh wow, okay. This is cool. Quake. Revive. Heal. Oh man, okay. Look at her stats. Magic, of course, very good. Attack percentage, 255. Interesting. I'll give her this lightning as well for now. She can't miss. No, it doesn't seem like it. Man, this place is busted up. Some pillar. Whatever that's supposed to be. Kind of looks like a warhead almost. Uh, there they are, over there. Cloud. Is it a rocket? Yeah, it kind of looks like. I know, they're not going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Aerith, this way. Aereo. With a 30, thank you. Alright, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The Ancient is getting away! Attack, attack! Ah! Uh, Aerith! Uh, did we kill her? This is gonna be a lot of paperwork if... <laughs> oh nice, that line is different. I'm pretty sure that line is different. Like it's translated differently to the original. Cloud, help! Damn. What's that? Hold on a minute. Uh, let's go to this one. Nice! Ugh! Thanks, Cloud. Cloud, help! Hold on a minute. This one? Nice. Urk! Thanks, Cloud. Oh, tear it up, Uematsu. Ripping that keyboard apart. Cloud, help. Hold on a minute.
Nice, perfect. Eric, this way. Ha. Ha. They're looking for me again. You mean this isn't the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. Turks are Shinra's eyes and ears. They gather intelligence and recruit possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. Well, they're involved in a lot of dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? Well, maybe they think I have what it takes to join soldier. Maybe you do. Want to join? I don't know. But I don't want to get. I don't want to get caught by those people. And let's go. Wait. Wait. I said. Puff, wheeze, slow down, don't leave me. Funny, I thought you were cut out to be in soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, Cloud, were you ever in soldier? I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's the sign of, uh, that's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako. A mark of soldier. How did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Oh, here it comes. Oh, the sleaze. Oh, that is a filthy bass line. My god. And those drums. Just ma it makes you want to fucking snoop around some dark back alleys at night. Getting up to all kinds of shady antics. Perfect music for the uh, slums here. Eats with the sub, thank you. Some knee slapping music. <laughs> Phew, finally made it off. My house is over here. Hurry before they come. This is some cigarette smoking music. Yeah, I could picture uh, some kind of black and white noir scene from an old 50s movie. Some guy smoking a cigarette. In a dark room. Planning to kill someone. Aim to misbehave with the 30 months. Thank you. Alright, let's save. Oh, what a groove. Some kind of giant hand here. Now, what battles do we have here? 
Do your defend thing, Aerith. I want to see it. Aerith Geoguard on. Okay. Oh, it only lasts for a turn. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, she automatically attacks herself. That's what was happening there. Or, you know, the cursor points to her when I choose attack. Uh, heal up Cloud there. Yes. Wait. Let me take a look at her weapon. Yeah, Restore Rod. Okay. So yeah, that's a completely new weapon. Obviously, she doesn't have that equipped um, when you're playing the regular game on modded. And I don't think that's a rod that's even in the game. Can you find this rod in the in the original game? I don't think you can. I don't remember finding any restore rod. Oh, I love the graffiti. Bam bada. Huh? Who the hell are you? You know who you're talking to? Ah, what a drag. You want to go to that place in Sector 6 again? The guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers uh or ah. So this is the uh, this guy, our sick guy, isn't it? But we have a proper translation this time. Oh my god. <laughs> This guy is sick. Maybe you can help. Let's go talk to him. Props there. Well played. Maybe you can help. Let's go talk to him. Uh, Stalk it Dan with the two months. Thank you. So this guy is like, some foreshadowing here. This guy is like one of the first quote unquote clones. Oh nice JMP, you played it, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I liked it. It's promising. This is the one, won't you help him? Oh, ah, oh. Listen, I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. Yeah. He's one of those, he becomes one of those hooded guys later on. Who sets out to the whirlwind maze. I guess this guy was found by some guy working for Hojo at some point, and he was brought back to the lab, injected with the cells. Bum bum. Bum bum. What am I doing? I'm keeping an eye on the ground. People drop all sorts of things. And you wouldn't find any of them unless you were looking down, right? <laughs> nice. 
Wise word. Huh? Hmm. Everything the president Shinra says is a goddamn lie. But you can't trust that terrorist group, Avalanche, either. You can bat it around all you like, but it all comes down to wanting to live like the people up there. So what do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. Breaking news now. Reactor number one was destroyed today in a bombing attack carried out by a terrorist group thought to be dissolved. The terrorist group, Resurgent Cell of Avalanche, claimed responsibility for the attack and left parts of Midgar temporarily out of power. So this, uh, is, is that in the original game as well? Like that alludes to Avalanche being like uh, a bigger organization than just this, this little setup with, uh, with Barrett and the gang. That's original? It's not? They refer to it as a, a resurgent cell of Avalanche. I know that became a thing for sure in, uh, in later things that were released, like before Crisis or something, I think. It really expands on Avalanche. But I feel like this might have been in the original as well. We need to remember as well that like the original English translation that we all played is full of mistranslation. And that the original Japanese uh, was a lot more fleshed out. Apparently, a really good translation patch was released for this as well, but I couldn't install it with the new FF7 installer. Um, I'd like to play that at some point as well, because apparently there's a really good translation of the original Japanese script that you can play. Interesting, Dave. Seems wrong, the cloud is in black. He's not in black, it's just a very dark purple. Uh, following President Shinra's address, demonstrations were held demanding increased security and tighter control over travel to and from the place. guy looks tiny. Glug, glug. Now no one will find it. Um, top drawer and the bottom one. Alright. Oh, what? I thought, yeah, I thought in the original game you had to open the top and the bottom to, to reveal the hidden. Is this something they changed in for the mod? Yeah, I think you have to select the top and the bottom for the hidden one to appear. Yeah, I'm taking your five, Gil. <laughs> Turtles, Parad uh, Turtles Paradise newsletter number one. Hey, don't let me miss the Turtles Paradise flyers, okay? Uh, for delicious wine with a zing to it. Stop by the Turtles Paradise. Alright, stealing his five gill. <clears throat> ah. 
Hmm? Huh, no tabs here. You better have Gil. All right. Uh, we have a little, plenty of Phoenix Downs. 11, nine antidotes. One tent. I'm not gonna buy anything here just yet. For some reason it's taken a while for these guys to respond. I don't care if it's scrappy, we can get anything down here in the slums. Materia included. What are you selling? The usual fire, ice, lightning, restore. Bum, bum. Mm, I'm kind of happy with what we have here. Bum, bum. Out of the way. Move. You want something? Go into the store. Tut tut. Next stop, Midgar. Or rather, Toot Toot. I see, he's impersonating a train. I don't know what he was on about. Toot Toot. Next stop, Midgar. Midgar. Any passengers getting off at Midgar should please ring. You know, Midgar is in the future. It's sleek, sparkly, and clean. Oh yeah. Someday I'm going there. What? Taking care of yourself is the law of the slums. These titan bangles are interesting. Big strength boost, but lose a mountain of defense. Kinda cool though, cool options to play around with, you know? Bump bump. I'm not gonna buy anything. Huh, you want weapons? That's too damn bad. I ain't got no weapons to sell you. And the reason is, the weapon store is over at the other counter. This guy just getting drunk off his ass. He looks a bit drunk. The two cans on the table. Those are supposed to be cigarettes there as well, I think so. Yeah, Dave, the, the train here. I love the world of FF7. <clears throat> Yeah, it feels very lived in. Okay, let's save. <clears throat> now, I wonder what this materia is over here. The, ma the materia is kind of bugged with the mods I'm using. I'll have to fix that for next time. Oh, there's another one here as well. Osmos Materia, okay. And Morph. MP Draining. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, Dave? Morph is a summon? Morph isn't a summon, no. Morph turns enemies into items. You were joking? Oh, okay. I don't really get the joke.
Oh, okay, Storm. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, let's save again. <clears throat> I'm home, Mom. Cloud, my bodyguard. <laughs> Elmira is looking a bit small here. <laughs> Again, my mods are kind of conflicting. Uh... Bodyguard, you were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright, I have Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girl friend? Oh. Uh. Maybe. Hee hee hee. You don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see. Sector 7? I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? Expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom! I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. But dear... I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. <laughs> she didn't really try too hard, did she? <laughs> but if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Aerith, please go make the bed. Uh, I can't go back out. I was gonna try and fuck with the mods. Jesus, she looks tiny. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah, or I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but... Could you please leave here tonight without telling Aerith? Oh yeah! Oh my god! The size of that TV! Soldier, the last thing Aerith needs is to get hurt again. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous to, uh, is a little dangerous, so get some rest as... Wait, hold on. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so get some rest tonight. Never mind, I thought I was missing something there. Cloud. Good night. Oh, man. Seem pretty tired. Huh? I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh yeah. Ever since that time. My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. 
I feel a lot better if you just settle down with a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that can take care of you. I think that would be the perfect fit for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7 is past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Let's grab the secret item. Well, not really secret, but... Now, we need to walk. We run, Aerith will hear us. Okay, back on the road. Uh, I'm tempted to maybe buy another one of those bangles. Eh, I think we're okay. I think we're alright the way we're the way we're set. Oh, hello. You're up bright and early. I couldn't ask you to come along. It's too dangerous. Are you done? You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. I remember getting stuck on this screen when I was a kid. I didn't realize you could run up the red pipe at the end. Yeah, same, same, same. Nice. I didn't realize that was something everyone did. <laughs> Core. Wow, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, this restore rod is crazy good.
Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really stand out. I mean... I guess it kind of does seem like the only way up. <laughs> but yeah, I remember running around here for ages. Yeah, I had a tiny little CRT as well. Got some good use out of that little thing. You thought it connected to the other higher platform? Yeah, the, the sort of the depth perception can kind of fuck with you here as well. The gate to Sector 7's in there. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You gonna be alright going home? Oh no, whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? <laughs> I like Aerith's sass. Go on to Sector 7. I could do that, but won't I be in your way? What do you mean in the way? Nothing. Can we take a break? I can't believe it's still here. Cloud, over here. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was... First class. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Were you... Serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? Hold on one sec, guys. It doesn't really matter. Huh? Hey, back there. Tifa? That girl in the cart was Tifa? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. That's a cool twist, I think. Tifa out of nowhere, dressed up all fancy in the back of a cart. But Chocobo, where's she off to? like this playground. It always always stood out as one of the most memorable areas, I think. This cool door here. Seven. Kind of looks like a garbage pile com composed of houses. <clears throat> Here we are. Yes! I don't bomb, 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 bomb. This is- this place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl, so we've got to find Tifa fast.
Uh, is anyone here familiar with the mod updater that I'm using? I wouldn't mind trying to switch over these models to make it more accurate so my character models are in line with the with all the other NPCs. Hold on, let me just take a quick look. And let me save again because we'll have to reset if we want to test it. Uh, I have some here that I can change, but I don't think they're in line with all the other ones. Hold on. Uh, I think we're just going to have to leave it as it is for now. I'm not really sure what to change here. I think I'm probably going to have to download um, another mod. I don't think I have anything to change the models to the correct uh, thing. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. We can deal with this for now. Okay, okay. So, how do we... How are we gonna do this? Let's check out the Honey Bee Inn first. I just can't make up my mind. Hmm. Huh? About what? Hmm, don't make me say it. It's the shop down on the right. Man, should I go or not? I get so mental at times like this. I'm hopeless. I can't wait to see what they do with this place in the remake. This whole sequence. <laughs> hey, aren't you... What? You mean you're too? Don't bring me down to your level. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if it really matters what we say to Johnny here. Let's say, yeah, me too. You're Tifa's childhood friend and you brought a new girlfriend to a place like this? What kind of guy are you? Man, should I go or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh, no way. I can't go on. Things aren't working out. Between our differences and my pay, it just isn't cutting it. What the hell? You fuck. This ain't no shit show. I'm busy right now. I'm, uh, I'm feeling like there's gonna be a fight. Oh, did you give me a little headbutt there? The Honey Bee Inn is a private club. Only members can go in. Shoo, shoo. Welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You looking for a girlfriend too? You know a girl named Tifa? Hey, you're pretty fast. 
Tifa's our newest girl. But unfortunately, she's having an inter she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo is a famous a famous dilettante. Uh, now he wants to settle down uh, and is in the market for a bride. I'm not sure what that word means. Dilettant? Alright, let's go back. Quite the security on this thing. Whoa. Broken. And yeah, we can come back here uh, on disc 3 for a limit break. Although it's going to be different on this mod. Or is it for a weapon in the, in the original game? I'm not sure. Gil. No. So apparently uh, in the Japanese version, or if this was a proper translation, this guy would be saying, you know, do you and Aerith want to get it on? Do you want to take out a room and get up to some hanky-panky? And apparently this machine is a condom machine. But, uh, yeah. That's something that wasn't translated. Aren't cats great? This one's a little big, huh? This guy. Whoa! Don't just stand there, say something. I like this guy's little shot. The little light. Dirty bomb inflicts poison. Interesting. Okay. That's new. Hyper tranquilizers, high potions. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a little early to start eating. Come back in a bit. Oh. <laughs> hey boy, you sure got a good looking heifer there. Take her to Don take her to the Don's place and you'll make a mint. Please come in. There's a free pharmacy coupon if you enter now. Welcome. Sit wherever you like. Yes, what will you have? Uh, chat, what do I want to get here if we want Corneo to pick Cloud? The special, I think, isn't it? It's the special, yeah. One today's special coming up for the coupon. Uh, in this story, you pay first. It'll be 70 gil. Thank you, just a second. There you go, enjoy. Oh, maybe it's this, uh... 
option that needs to be correct. It was all right. I've had better dog food. Thank you. Here's an item coupon for the pharmacy. You can, ex you can exchange. Uh, you can exchange it for one item there. That's our last coupon for now. Watch out for our next promotion. Talk to these guys. Um, grunt, smack. Don't sneak up on me like that. I'm gonna get another pharmacy coupon today. It's thanks to the Dawn that we can eat like this. I always get the special. I'm gonna get another pharmacy coupon. Uh, digestive. Here you are. But um, um, I don't know. We're closed now. All right. Welcome, please take your time. Don't push, hooligan. All this trash lying around. Can't we do anything with it? We can't. It belongs to the guy who runs the weapon shop. Oh, I know who you mean. The one with the tank in his shop? But any way you look at it, it's just trash. Oh yeah, Dave, man, man, man. <laughs> Join the club. Try it with us. Oh dear, I've gained weight again. All right, one, two, three. Squats are all in the rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. How's this? Times are bad. I love how this place looks. Look at those lights. So cool. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry now looking at this place myself, Dave. And then? Hmm. Oh, really? And then? So now we need to help this guy out. Hey, could you do something for me? Someone's been in there all day and they're not coming out. I can't hold it anymore. So yeah, we have the digestive uh, medicine for this guy. Hey, someone's in here. Don't look. Oh, you can actually see more clearly with this model. They're vomiting. What? Ugh. Give her the medicine. Huh? You'll really give me some? Thanks. Phew, I feel better now. This is for your kindness. And we get some sexy cologne. Oh, how he just runs straight in. Oops. Talk to this guy here. Bust right in. Yes? If you want to order, do it at the counter. Then come over to the counter. Alright, let's check out the gun shop. Love all this scrap just hanging around. A 
Another restore rod. Metal knuckle. Titan bangles. Mithril armlets. Oh, interesting. So... Oh, you sacrifice an even more defense for the magic boost. Okay. Ah. Uh. Not yet. You want something? I don't want to hear any complaints about how things look. Oh yeah, and look at the tank. Or at least the turret from the uh, tank. You know, I don't think I ever noticed that in the, in the original game. Just with these new backgrounds. With these polished backgrounds, you can see everything so clearly. mansion of Don Corneo, the most powerful man in Wall Market. Look, the Don's not into men, so don't let me catch you around here again. Hey, you got a cute one with you. Hey, this looks like the Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, you can't. Why? You know what kind of place this is? Then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that'll be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But, I just can't let you go in alone. Oh, man. First, we need to find out if Tifa's alright. What's so funny, Aerith? Clouds, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? Just wait. I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Aerith, I can't. You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. A friend, huh? Sounds pretty good to me. The Don will be happy too. Who knows, maybe I can even... <laughs> so good. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to go down to the clothes shop. Let's save again. Damn, look at this guy. Look at the pose. You want me to take some photographs? Hey man, got a minute? I need to talk. Man to man. What is it? Really, I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but young lady, could you turn the other way for a second? Why? Aaron. Gosh. I'm sorry, lady. Now here's the thing. You know that vending machine in the inn? I'm itching to know what they're selling in. I just can't ask a girl to go get it. Uh, what? Why don't I buy it myself? Well, to tell you the truth, I got in a fight with the guy at the inn and can't go there anymore. So, come on, how- so- so how about it? I'll go. Good. Thanks. I'll be waiting here when you're done. Finished? Good luck. Uh, so yeah, we need to rest, don't we? And then he takes it at night. 
Does he mean this? Uh, I guess I'll get him the expensive stuff. We do want to go for the expensive one, don't we? If we want Corneo to pick Cloud. I don't think every I don't think every decision we make has to be perfect, but... No, cheap. It might even be different in the new threat mod, anyway. Hey, what's up, Let's Soup? Fuck it, I'm getting him the 200 kill. Thank you very much. Please come again. Alright, go back. I got it. Oh really? Hey. Badum bum 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 bum. And what was it? Protein drink set. That jerk. I'm gonna do so much more business than him. His head'll spin. Thanks, bud. I'm motivated now. Take this. It's not much. Diamond Tiara. Come by again. I'll still be here doing business. Okay, let's go back in here. Oh, wait, no, did we fuck something up? I need to get the ticket from this guy. Nope, I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't be able to get in without it. Nice! Okay, we got the member's card. Uh, let's save again. Hey, what's up, Dolphin? Hey, is that a member card I see? Shining in your hot little hand? Please, come in. <laughs> Look at Johnny! Looks like I need to go inside to complete my disguise. Hmm. Sure, good excuse. See ya. Black Adder with the seven months, thank you. All the music in here. Who? I, uh, I mean, sir. Hurry. Please choose a room. Gosh, he's so weird. But then again, they all are. The Queen's room. Looks like this room is being used. Take a listen. Take a peek. Ooh, wow. Wind's calm now. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved queen does not awaken. The time is ripe. A legend has been passed down through generations. These scenes are so weird.
I think that isn't that supposed to be President Shinra as well, dressed up as a king? Psst. Hey, shouldn't we stop him soon? Whisper, whisper. He has a luncheon for 2.30. Yeah, this is like the, the president's fetish or something. Psst. You tell him. Psst. I can't tell him. Psst. Come on. Oh, fine. It devoured men's souls and stole their minds. I'm just disgusted. They defeated the evil and sealed it away. But... One with blue eyes. Psst, I didn't... I didn't become an aide for this. And a great white sword. So cool. Psst, what are you complaining about? We'll give our enemy the promised land. Really intriguing foreshadowing here. Like, what? Wait, who? Where is this text coming from? Who's saying all this? Who's talking about Sephiroth here? Psst. I know, I know. This wasn't part of the job description. Y you think the president's rec reciting it? Yeah, that would make sense, I guess. The president's wife found out about this little hobby of his. Yeah, they say it's straight up here. So weird. Oh, look at the girl on the bed. Is she tied up? No way. I didn't know about that. Psst. Oh, it looks like he's done. Man, I'm glad. Oh! Mr. President! I mean, Your Majesty! Oh, I'm sorry. Please remove the ancient curse. Yeah, so that's uh, the President having some roleplay fun. <laughs> I really hope they, there's a spin on that scene in the remake and all of these scenes although you know I'm not exactly expecting the fucking gay orgy uh, you know I think that's highly unlikely but I do hope we get some good shit here you know I hope we get I hope we get a good replacement Lover's room. Okay, it's Sith time. Wheeze. There he is, jumping around. I almost want to stay here just to listen to the theme. What's wrong, Grandpa? You keep sighing. Wheeze, puff. You know, Grandma. Is this the room? Phew. I know our son rented this for us and all, but. It's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub. I just can't get comfortable. Don't worry about it. It's a high class neighborhood. The big city. You keep complaining and we'll get in trouble. Very high class. Oh, 
All right. So we want to take the bottom left, don't we? The group room. This is the one, Chad, isn't it? Just want to make sure. Pretty sure it's the bottom left. For the orgy. Yeah. Because you only have one choice here. You can't pick both. You can't pick the bottom left and the top left. You have to pick one or the other. I'll take this room. Alright, now all we have to do is enter the room. You're not gonna have a change of heart, are you? Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, don't be angry with me. Jeez, this one's probably the violent type. Alright, please. Way, please. Uh, <laughs> Shall we begin? I guess since you chose this room, that would mean you hate being lonely. Cut the small talk. I don't want to talk right now. All right, all right. Jeez, you're so moody. Come on, everyone's waiting. Everyone. Here they are. All right, everyone. Hey, they're probably not gonna look big enough here. Ah, they'll do. <laughs> one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Mucky, what's up? Smile, smile, smile. Oh man. What should I do? This could be dangerous. Looks like I'm always going to be facing crises all my life. Heave, pants. Don't be so embarrassed. Loosen up, Bubby. Heave, pants. Let's wash off all our sweat and dirt together. What's up? Bubby, so you're the intimate type, eh? Wow, would you look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't bathing great? It soothes you. How is it, Bubby? Oh shit, a few of them aren't even fitting inside the thing. Yeah, I guess this doesn't really work with some of the new models. How is it, Bubby? Feels good, huh? It hurts. Too stuffy in here. You'll get used to it. Try counting to ten. Ten. Nine. Hey, Bubby, how old are you? Eight. 21. You're less than half my age. I'm so jealous. So how about it? You want to join? You want to join my young bubbies group? Seven. Six. Not to be rude or anything, but could you do someone else? Do someone else? Well, if that's how you feel, too bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's ten. I'm getting out. Why don't you stick around and play a bit? Daddy's so lonely. <laughs> Bobby, this is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. Received bikini briefs. 
hope we meet again. This is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this? Sweet. Yeah, don't. If I were to dress up like a woman, then I've got to then I've got to really prepare carefully. I should be able to put makeup on here. Get your glam on, or don't do it. Yeah, let's get our glam on. I have a favor to ask of you. Can you put some makeup on me too? Paste, paste, paste. Oh, my. Here we go. They all seem to be pretty impressed. Oh god, poor Aerith. Uh, sir, it's almost closing time, so please remember any personal belongings. Uh, I want flowers too, but I get so nervous in front of cute girls. It just seems natural to get cautious. Hey, Cloud. Uh, Aerith, thanks for the flower and one gill. I'll treasure this. I'm gonna dry it and keep it for good luck. I bought some pretty flowers from Aerith. 500 gil. A little expensive. Well, at least I got her name. I asked Aerith for a date. And she said not even if I paid her 1 million gil. Her flowers cost 300 gil too. She's a good businesswoman. <laughs> I, I didn't even watch that trailer, Storm. I, I saw a uh, cloud with the hair. But uh, I didn't watch that trailer. Uh, okay. Let's save again. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Uh, it might take a little time. Will that be alright? What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses. And where's your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. Wait. You'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help my crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, leave it us. Leave it to us. Let's go, Cloud. So how did it go? We couldn't find him yet. Don't push, hooligan. Hide all with the 13, thank you. Uh, excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? 
I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Cloud, you wait over there for a second. I'll try and talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? Hold on one sec, guys. You know, mister, he always said that just once he'd like to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? So how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it for us? A D X with the two, thank you. Or rather the three and the two month streak. And again, Pydol, thank you for the thirteen. Uh yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? Something that feels clean. Something that feels soft. I think we want something that's soft and something that shimmers. Isn't that right? Remind me, chat. I think it's soft and shimmers. Yeah, we're going for the cloud choice. Mm, got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Hey, hold on. Wait till I get an image in my head. Wonder is this guy still in the bathroom? He is. can't do this yet. Or wait, maybe we can. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. you put this on? Whoa, what are you doing? It's still not right. A wig. That's what you need. Uh, I thought you might need one, so I talked to my friend about let letting you borrow one of theirs. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. <laughs> Go and talk to them. All right. Like you. Aerith, what did you tell him? Does it matter? Anyhow, we got a pretty dress. Alright, let's save. Are you the one who wants to be cute? Cute? Right. And about the wig. Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Ah, uh, Big bro! The only way you're gonna get cuter is, it, is if you can beat big bro. That's right. Uh, so you've got to compete with us. You're right. Let's do squats. All right. We'll beat you out of this gym. Are you... The beautiful bro? The beautiful bro? What, you didn't know? Always running around here saying, Big bro this, big bro that. 
Never mind that. Come over here. No, I'll explain the rules. <laughs> From the ready position, push switch to squat, cancel to get up, and okay to go back to the ready position. Uh... Right, I'm not really sure what 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 those uh, what those buttons are. Don't have it. Oh yeah, okay. Square X circle. Got it. Whoever has the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. I'm not gonna lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. Just be quiet. It's not fair for you to start right away. So you want some practice? I don't need any practice. Now, let's begin the real thing. Start. Oh my god. Is he way better in the new threat mod? He's not making any mistakes. Now he's making mistakes. Yes! Oh, destroyed. He had 13 squats, you had 20. You're really something. Okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Received key item, blonde wig. Big bro. Oh wait, no, is Big Bro talking here? Big Bro is talking. I'm so mad. I'm so, so, so mad. Oh! Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Oh, bro's fists of steel cut to the bone. Take care of it. <laughs> Big bro, get a hold of yourself. Join the club. I like how this guy over here is just... He hasn't he hasn't been paying attention at all. It's just like everyday stuff. There's no need to look. Shit like this happens every day. I'm just gonna stick to my punching bag here. Looks like you're all set. Now try it on and let's see how it fits. Aren't you gonna change? I'm ready. Hmm, not bad. This may be a new business for me. Yeah, you're right. Should we try it? Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motive. He's, my father's got his motive. No, I can't speak. My father has got his motivation back. So the dress is on the house. I'm starting to get tired with all the reading. Uh, walk more nicely like this, Miss Cloud. What do you mean nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Cloud. Ah, I want one now. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How about this one? I did see a shot of Aerith in the remake wearing the dress. And she was looking pretty good. Uh, father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. I want this one. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna go change. No peeking. Let's 
So, how do I look? Oh, you're no fun. You're weird. <laughs> no, you. Mm, it's really something. Okay, so I think we're good now. Um, we have the... We went to the honeybee, we got all that stuff. Uh, got the wig. Got the fancy cologne. Pretty sure we have everything. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to get a few items before we continue. Ba, ba, ba. Got the tiara, yeah. I like the sound of these dirty bombs. Let's get four of those. Let's get a few tranquilizers as well. Uh, mods, Ibsigo. It should look better, really. I should be using different character models. But, uh, I should have that sorted for the next stream. Friends hot too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. Hey, ladies. <laughs> we look really huge in comparison to this guy here. I'll go and let the Don know you're here. Wait here, don't wander around. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. Oh shit, now Tifa's model has changed to a tiny model. Because of the dress. She's like the NPCs. Tifa. Nice to meet you. I'm Aerith. Cloud's told me a lot about you. And you are? Uh, hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Right. With Cloud. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. And why did you say with cloud like that, Aerith? What do you mean? Don't worry. About what? No, don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together, nothing more. Poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to both of us call him nothing. Right, Cloud? 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 Why are you dressed like that? 
And what are you doing here? Never mind. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down. Let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright. Aerith helped me out. Oh man, it's gonna be great when, when Tifa spins her costume off and she's gonna turn into normal size Tifa. Uh, oh, Aerith did. Tifa, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... Ahem. I'll just plug my ears. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks, what happened? When we got back from the Sector 5 reactor, we saw a weird man. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up. Right, Don Corneo. Barrett told me to leave the, uh, the, the, the lech alone. But something's been bothering me. I see, so you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then... Well... Anyway, I have to be the girl for tonight. Sorry, but I overheard. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but... We have two here, right? No, Aerith, I can't involve you. Oh? So it's all right for Tifa to be in danger. No, I don't want Tifa in. Is it all right? I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. Do you trust me? Yes. Thanks, Miss Aerith. Call me Aerith. Hey! It's time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. I told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? You're right. You didn't need to ask. Pick up the ether. My god. This dungeon here. Look at all the fucking knives and swords and shit on the wall here. What the hell, man? <laughs> I wonder what Barrett would say if he could see you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Golden Attack. Alright, ladies. Line up in front of the Don. Mmm. <laughs> Good. Splendid. Let's see, which girl should I choose? Hmm. Hmm. This one? Or this one? Woohoo! I've made up my mind! My choice for tonight is... This healthy looking girl. W wait a sec. I mean, uh, please wait a moment. Woohoo! I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! You can have the rest. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we go, my pretty?
<laughs> Man, I love his pose here. Ah, we're finally alone. All right, pussycat, come to daddy. Look at the way he tracks you here as well. <laughs> Too good. Secret item behind the bed. You're so cute, I never get tired of looking at you. Do you like me too? Of course. You sure you sure do know how to make a guy feel good. Then uh, what do you want to do? Whatever you want, Daddy. Oh man, I can't stand it. Alright then. Give me a kiss. A kiss! Alright. Just a minute. The symbol on the bed means heaven. Nice. <laughs> what the hell? Who's there? Cloud. Were you really? Oh, we didn't. We didn't see them spin off. Oh yeah. No, I think that's if uh, if they choose. If he chooses Tifa, we get to see her spin off the clothes, I think. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Were you really? Of course not, Tifa. Or maybe it's just Cloud who always spins it off, yeah. A man! What's going on? Shut up. We're asking the questions now. What did your assistants find out? Talk! If you don't tell us... I'll chop it off. No, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So, talk. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was. But that's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No. If I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk. If you don't tell us. I'll rip it off. Wah! It was Heidegger of Shinra. Heidegger, the head of peace preservation. The head of peace preservation. Did you say the Shinra? What are they up to? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche and want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really going to crush them, literally, by breaking the supports holding up the plate above them. Break the supports? You know what's going to happen? The plate will go ping, and everything's going to go BAM! I heard their hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. They're going to wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Cloud, will you come with me to Sector 7? Of course, Tifa. Just a second. Shut up. No, wait. It'll only take a second. Why do you think scum like me babbled on about the truth? Because I've given up on life? Because I'm sure I'll win, or because I'm clueless? Because I'm sure I'll win. Woohoo! Right! <laughs> His little dance. I love the president's fucking massive desk. Look at the size of that thing. Overcompensating for something, maybe? Uh, how are the preparations going? 
<laughs> smoothly, very smoothly. I assigned the Turks to this. Mr. President, are we really going ahead with this? What's the problem, Marie? You want out? No. But there must be another way. You can't just drop the plate. Too many people will die. You saw the reports, Reeve. Midgar is becoming unsustainable. In a few years, the Mako below us will run completely dry. I understand that, but we can cut energy consumption in other ways. If we slowly wind back our reliance on Mako, then, Midg then Midgar can survive. If we drop the plate, Midgar will be able to last a few more years. We'll also eliminate Avalanche and have an excuse to increase rates to tackle the tragedy. Reeve, just flush your personal problems in the morning. The mayor is against this too. Mayor? He just sits in this building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. <laughs> I love Heidegger's walk. Big dramatic walk with the shoulders back. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? We'll drop the plate and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send in the rescue operation care of Shinra Inc. <laughs> this is perfect. Battle out. Oh shit. The game driver has crashed. Sorry, an unexpected error has occurred. Oh no. Looks like we might have to read it, leave it here for tonight, guys. I was gonna get past this section and then save. There's a save point right here as well. Uh, this can sometimes be caused by a problem in a mod. Try turning off all of your mods and re-enable them one at a time to see if the crash still occurs. Report the issue to the mod author if necessary. If you're using a mod with very high resolution textures, you may have run out of memory. Try a lower resolution mod if available or try increasing your texture memory. Ah, uh, well, shit. Well, guys, uh, I think that's a good place to end it for now. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'll catch up to where we were. I'll make sure that we don't run into this problem again. Uh, I'll try and get the character models sorted as well so they're not all imbalanced. But uh, yeah, I wasn't going to go for too much longer anyway. I was going to go for the next boss and then save and I was probably going to wrap it up so you know we're really not missing too much um but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll be back tomorrow continuing this I'm sure till next time everyone have a good one peace we might do some films or something on discord tonight although it's getting a little bit late but yeah thanks for watching guys till next time